The trailer opens with a scene already seen in the third TV spot, no doubt the aftermath of the pre-title sequence. I would expect to fade into the title sequence shortly after this. It would appear the villain Bond is chasing through the Day of the Dead festival and grappling with on the helicopter, Marco Schiara, is a Spectre associate. The Spectre ring must have been obtained by Bond at the climax of the fight, setting up Bond's investigation of Spectre and allowing him to present it to Mr White in his hideout. The Morocco sequence features much more heavily in this trailer. It has made appearances in behind-the-scenes material, though. This, I imagine, provides the location of the third act, taking the form of Oberhauser's secret HQ. The car here looks vintage. Is Oberhauser transporting Bond to his humble abode in style, or has Bond got his hands on another motor alongside the Aston? Here we see our first full glimpse of the Austrian mountain range, with the modern building in view. Is this where Bond meets Swan for the first time, setting up the sequence where Bond pursues Hinks's motorcade in the ill-fated aeroplane? Bond comes into view from behind the sliding doors that look like the doors that revealed the DB-10 in the second trailer. Is this Craig's Bond's first entrance into the modern-day Q branch? A figure, who may or may not be Bond, is sprinting towards what looks like a fire close to the Houses of Parliament. Is Spectre attacking the country and city that Bond loves? The shot that follows of a vengeful-looking Bond suggests this may be the case. M has appeared battered and bruised in the second trailer and TV spot, so he will be involved somehow. Another shot from what must be Morocco, with Bond looking ready for action. However, the shot that follows has Bond in what appears to be a different suit. Does he visit Morocco twice in the film? We see Oberhauser walking Bond and Swan into his headquarters, where I had visions of a Doctor Who location. This very much looks like the traditional villain treats Bond as an equal, revealing his evil plan before eliminating him kind of style. Bond certainly seems at ease. What the trailers have successfully kept hidden is what Oberhauser's plan really is. One would hope that it's not just a personal vendetta against Bond, but a world-affecting plan. We had a vengeance plot driving the last film. We don't need another. Oberhauser's line of, Why did you come? suggests that Bond might not have been invited after all. The traditional villain garb that he wears matches that of the second trailer, where he's seen in the control room. This would suggest the hidden HQ serves a potentially deadly purpose. The underground attempted shooting of Oberhauser is still a bit of a mystery to me. He doesn't seem to flinch at all. I like the imagery of this scene, though. And is it just me, or does the pattern of the bullet holes resemble the Spectre Octopus poster? This scene reminded me of the scene where Bond attempts to kill Renard through the glass in The World Is Not Enough. I came here to kill you. Straight to the point for Bond, as per usual. Very much a classic, seemingly calm confrontation between Bond and the villain. It would appear Bond gets a bit more than he bargained for following his assassination of his intended target, thanks to his powerful gun, bringing down the building on top of him. This scene looks very effective, with a good use of CGI. And I thought you came here to die. Along with Bond's line, this feels to me like a nice little nod to, do you expect me to talk? No, Mr Bond, I expect you to die. Maybe I'm looking too much into it, but that's what immediately came to mind. But it's all a matter of perspective. The sly grin on Craig's face delivering this line just shows how at ease he is in his performance of Bond. The slight tone of menace at the end of this line is perfect to show that Bond isn't going down without a fight. Now come the onslaught of quick cuts. Bond leaping for his life following the building collapse. An explosion in a location I can't quite determine. Another shot of Bond and Swan on the boat, on what is likely to be the Thames. This could be following the attack on London. The billowing smoke suggests his boat is in trouble. Bond and Swan, having successfully caused a bit of chaos at the Morocco HQ, making a break for it. Some footage from the Austrian mountain sequence. A blink and you'll miss it sequence from the train fight with Hinks. And a bit more footage from the Rome car chase sequence. Then a return to Mexico, with a new clip from the helicopter sequence, and Bond taking on the goon not already seen. Does he have a number of assailants to take on, all of which being Spectre henchmen? 
Here we have a shot showing the traditional Bond and Bond girl train scene, with Bond getting a bit hands-on with Swan. What would Swan's dad, Mr White, think? Here we see a crash between two cars, one with an evident British registration plate. We know M gets involved in this action. Could this be the start of it? The trailer ends with a return to the impressive helicopter stunt, with Bond and his apparent target, Marco Schiara, hanging on for dear life. The nice transition from Bond's kick to the gunshot spectre logo works well, and with Skiara hanging onto the helicopter on the opposite side to Bond, this kick might signal the end of their little scuffle. The fourth TV spot also appeared on YouTube today. Much of the footage is seen in this new trailer as well, but we do get to see more from the MI6 staff. M, obviously still angry at Bond for his actions in Mexico, says that Bond is on his own, suggesting he has gone rogue once more. If this is the case, it's a bit of a shame that Craig still hasn't had a proper classic Bond mission. A concerned-looking money penny in Q could lead to Q's meeting with Bond in the field. Will this be similar to Licence to Kill, where Bond went rogue, pissed off M, and prompted Moneypenny to send help in the form of Q? And that's it for the Spectre trailers. No doubt there'll be a couple more TV spots, but I wouldn't expect them to reveal too much more. From what I've seen, I'm feeling extremely positive about the film. Let me know your thoughts and speculation. I'll get my next Spectre news video out next week.